Hey, Booktube, it's Sia, and I'm here with my February and March book haul. In February, I um, have five books here. Actually, I didn't spend any money on any of these in February because these three came from Barnes & Noble and I had a gift card left from Christmas, so I used that. And then these two came used from our local used bookstore where we had credit at. So um, February's book haul is a, is a little small, but um, February was the month that we went to Disneyland, so all of our money pretty much went on that trip. Um, so I'm doing, so I've read three of these already, so I'm doing very well with my goal of reading like my own physical TBR books, but I will uh, stop rambling and show you guys what I got in February. The first book on the stack here is called Hollow Point by Ari Marmel. I don't know too, too much about this book. I do know, do know it takes place in the 1930s in Chicago and it's kind of like a paranormal um, fantasy book, but it also like is a mystery mystery book it's like a paranormal mystery fantasy book it follows our main character mick he is a 1930s private detective but he's but he's not your average 1930s private detective he actually has pointy ears and he packs a wand um the spear of lug is in chicago and everyone everyone wants it for it is said that he who carries the spear into battle cannot be defeated those chasing it include an agent of the infamous wild hunt a mobster who knows far more about these things than he should and of course both the seely and unseely courts the very the very last people pi make over and would want getting hold of the spear uh, the tagline here um, says guns wands gangsters and fairies that pretty much sold this book for me um it sounds like it's going to be something similar to like the dresden files um but i'm very excited to give it a read i'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit more this year as well so um i'm excited to give it a try uh, the other book that we picked up from our local bookstore is called alas babylon by pat frank i have no idea what this book is about um i've heard it's a classic it's like a history it's a um like a sci-fi novel which I don't read much of but again I'm trying to branch out and try some new things um my boyfriend uh wanted to give it a try and so I figured I could give it a try and include it on this include it in this haul there's not much of a description it just says the classic apocalyptic novel that stuns the nation with its vivid portrayal of a small town's survival after nuclear holocaust devastates the country um, but I'm excited to give it a try and if any of you have read it, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear more thoughts about this, um, but I'm excited to get to this very, very soon. And the last three books that I picked up were all part of the series, and that is The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King. Uh, this is book two, three, and four of The Raven Cycle, but I feel like everybody already knows that by now. Um, my book club actually picked up the series over the course of two months, so we were reading two books a month, and I already had book one um, in hardcover, and it's actually signed by Maggie. And I'm um, ashamed to say that I uh, still hadn't read it until this year, um, but I needed the rest of the series and I had a Barnes & Noble gift card, so I picked these up in paperback. Loved, I, we read all of them, absolutely loved them. Um, I will talk more about them in my wrap up, but I absolutely loved the series. I'm a little bummed that these are in paperback and my Raven Boys copy is in hardcover, but for now I'll, I'll live um, until I can get hardcover copies. But I did read this whole series these last couple of months and I absolutely loved it. And then uh, in March, I picked up three graphic novels. I have already read all of these, the first one being Adventures of the Super Sons. The boys are back in town, volume one. This is by the original creator of the new run of Super Sons, um, which we really did enjoy. Uh, this volume for the new series was just all right. It wasn't as great as the original, but we did really enjoy it. I do really enjoy this art style as well. But if you don't know, Super Sons follows Superboy, who is Jonathan Kent, the son of Superman, and you have this, and you have Robin, who is Damian Wayne, who is the adopted, who is the son of obviously Bruce Wayne, Batman, um, and it's about them as a like crime fighting duo, and they kind of team up and fight crime, and it's just adorable. Their friendship and their like relationship and their partnership is just absolutely adorable, and um, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I just enjoyed it, but I will talk more about that in my wrap up, but we did haul this in March. 
And then we picked up Morning Glories Volume 1 and Volume 2. This is a graphic, this is an older graphic novel series that follows a group of teenagers at this board who get handpicked to attend this special uh, boarding school. And you slowly learn to find out that the boarding school isn't quite what it seems. It does hold some secrets. Um, you find out that these kids were handpicked for a specific reason. The first one being they all share the same birthday, but because they share the same birthday, they have some special qualities about them. Um, some special abilities and you slowly learn what those are and uh, we really enjoyed this series. I won't talk too much about my feelings because I want to talk about that in my wrap up but we did haul both of the we did haul the first two volumes and really enjoyed them and I cannot wait to read the rest of the series. And then I have two books for March that I picked up. I haven't read either one of these yet. They are books that I need for my book club so I just stacked up. Um, I just stocked up on all the books so I'd be set for the rest of the year. Um, I'm very excited to dive into these but um, I won't get to them for a little bit I won't get to them for quite a while but I did want to show them off in this haul since I did haul them in March and that is a blade so black by LL McKinney I don't know too much about this the only thing I really do know is that it is a modern reimagining retelling of Alice in Wonderland um, it's part of a it's part of a nightmare verse book which I don't really know what that means yet but um, I'm very excited to dive into this I don't think we're gonna I think we're reading this in like September so I won't read it for quite a while but I did um but I am very excited to dive into this and the last book that I hauled in March is Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim I honestly don't know too much about this book um the only thing I really do know is how they pitched it in book club and that is a gender bent modern retelling of the Count of Monte Cristo um that's all I really need to know the first novel in a sweeping fantasy duology, this gender-swapped retelling of the County of Monte Cristo is packed with high-stakes adventure, romance, dueling identities, and breathtaking betrayals, all brilliantly woven together by acclaimed author Tara Sim. I'm excited to read it. We're actually not reading this until December, but I picked it up early, then that way I would just have them all in advance and I don't have to worry about falling behind, but I am excited to read this. I do know it's a fairly new release as well. I believe it just came out towards the end of last year or early this year but I'm um, but I'm excited to eventually get to this. So here is all of the books and graphic novels I hauled in February and in March. Let me know in the comments below what you guys hauled recently. If you read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're well. Happy reading and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!